Hello and welcome to this Korg Engine tutorial. I'm Renault and today uh, we're going to talk about Respawn. So in, in most platform games your character can take damage, um, it can get hurt and eventually die if its health reaches zero, like so. Um, in the Korg Engine that's also the, the default behavior. Uh, when your character takes damage, it uh, it starts a relatively complex chain of events. Uh, so first your character will take X damage. Uh, this is handled by the health component of your character. Then um, it loses uh, that health from its uh, current amount of health. If its health goes below zero, uh, then the health component calls its kill method. Uh, and it will tell the level manager that the player is dead and then the level manager will reset the level triggering uh, the respawn of the player and potentially other objects in the scene so respawn is done by checking what checkpoint the player last reached uh, reposing, repositioning the player there and also respawning all the objects registered to that checkpoint so if we have a look at this mesa one level you'll see that we have one checkpoint here one here one here and one here so uh, if you look at your level manager then you will see here that we have a checkpoint distrib attribution axis uh, x y z depending on uh, you know the uh, the axis of your level i'm on a quite horizontal level so checkpoints will be attributed from left to right but you could decide that you have a really vertical level like you're climbing a tower and then you decide that uh, a y attribution axis would be more suited to your level um, every enemy or, or object with an auto respawn script so uh, I have one here on my, my uh, blue robot all of these objects will at the start of the level when you, when you start the level uh, register to the first checkpoint to their right which means that if your character dies between checkpoints B and C all enemies it may have killed between them will respawn to uh, if you want your enemies or object to respawn, so really all you have to do is add this auto respawn component to them. So uh, creating and placing checkpoints in the Korgi engine is extremely simple. All you have to do is create an empty game object uh, like so, and uh, uh, you can of course you know add a tag icon, whatever it's called, to it. You can uh, rename it to, for example, my new checkpoint. And uh, then you can decide to reposition it, for example, here. I, I'm going to move that one here for um, demo purposes. You'll see why in an instant. Um, so once you've created your empty object, you can just add a checkpoint component. Um, it's really simple. It adds automatically a box collider to the component. You can just uh, set its size. You can have a look at really existing ones uh, you'll see that in most cases in horizontal x-axis based level you'll have this big uh, um, collider vertically so I'll, I'll just do the same here and uh, I can also set the facing direction when my player responds of course here I want it to face right so if I press play um, and bring my game into view you'll see what happens I'm gonna try and um, pass that checkpoint and try to get myself killed uh, by this robot here and maybe also by that rocket take as much uh, damage as I can so I'm dead now and as you can see I did respawn at my new checkpoint here so that's really all there is to uh, the respawn mechanism uh, it's important to know that uh, you can have your objects, enemies, uh, coins and so on respawn you can have your player respawn wherever you want uh, it's really a matter of using the auto respawn for enemies and objects uh, so the auto respawn component and uh, creating a new checkpoint for your player I hope you learned something new today and um, I'll see you next time, bye